Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in my second of a series of three of videos about whether I should keep or sell the Fuji 56 f1.2 uh, lens. It's a portrait lens. I'm really a hobbyist. I stopped doing my freelance photography business. Um, and I, I don't really do a lot of portraits, but this is a great lens, a uh, world famous, world class lens. And I just need to know maybe whether I could let it go or whether I should hold on to it. So today I went to the Claremont Farmer's Market and I used this as I walked around the market. I asked some people, took some kind of street photography style photos, um, but I have some photos to share. And I think you're really gonna wanna take a look at the quality of the images that this lens produced. The big question is, does this live up to its hype? Does this live up to the $1,000 price tag? If you're new here, I do videos about Fuji. I'm shooting on the X-H2S right now. I have the mm, XS10 over here. Those are my two main cameras. And we use uh, the GFX at work and the X-H2S at work, uh, as well as the XS20 at work. So a lot of Fuji love around here. Stick around, subscribe if you're into that. This guy's always out there at the farmer's market telling people about whatever political issues, trying to inform them. But you can see the, the bike here in the frame. And then um, I wanted a picture of the cyclist. She looked tired, she looked kind of overheated. Uh, um, and so I then shifted the lens and took this picture of her so you can see the guy in the background, but she's right there. I was not looking her direction when I snapped this, so maybe it could have been better centered, but the colors just pop, they're very warm. Again, the crispness of lens, great. Uh, I do have some complaints with the lens, so stick around if you want to hear those. But so far, I'm showing you the best versions of photos that I got. The 56 1.2 is known for kind of that sharp separation of subject and background, the creamy, blurry bokeh that everybody wants. And so as I was walking around the um, farmer's market, I'm going to show you a series of photos. And uh, let's take a look and you'll get a sense of whether this lens could be what you're looking for. Now, I tend to, um, you're gonna see this image right here. Um, this was outside sort of like a uh, gift shop. And I tend to um, kind of warm up when I'm doing street photography. I don't talk to people right away. Um, I, I, this was a statue, I took three of these. So different angles, I'm kind of a fan of shooting down, shooting up, I'm trying to, reduce the amount of photos I take from eye level. So we have a few different ones there um, just to test it. But you know, creamy, beautiful background blur. This is a Fuji film, a film recipe that I created. It's called Sweet Heat. I'll share the recipe down below. Um, and then as I walked around, there was kind of a bluegrass band. Uh, I think it said the Happy Neighbors Club or something they're playing. So I got this photo of the fiddle player, two of those photos actually. And um, bass player didn't seem too happy with me. Uh, he was kind of like scoping me out, like, what are you doing? But the guitar player was friendly. The spoons player was friendly. And uh, see, look at that great look. And then just behind her, um, just the soft background. Very, very beautiful results. However, is it that different, that much better than like the 23 F2 that I'm filming on? Um, I don't know. I feel like I can get a photo like that with the the fuji um, 23 mil of course i'd have to be a lot closer so there's that uh let's keep moving on there's the side eye from the bass player <laughs> and uh here's a great one i was trying to kind of tell that story of the guitar player so i shot kind of over the shoulder of the fiddle player so you can see that in the foreground so blurry in the foreground that is brushing the frame and then blurry in the background the nice um kind of uh <laughs> heat withered bushes in the uh, claremont uh, neighborhood yeah, it was a hot one out there. So this guy was out selling honey. I thought it was cool that um, he had his stacks of the rows of honey and then I had him under his tent. So I got a few of that uh, gentleman uh, selling honey and bagging stuff up and uh, giving it to the customers. So here I'm standing probably 10 feet away, well far enough back so they, he can't really tell I'm taking pictures. I mean, can he can see me but I'm not getting right in his face. Um, so some vegetables, farmer's market is good for that. Um, again, not portraits, but I just like the, the creamy fall off, um, the focal, the kind of depth of field fall off uh, is great. Uh, here's another one, he's cutting up some melon and uh, I love the capture, the happy uh, smile right there. And then another guy, I think he was selling yogurt or kefir or something like that and so, I kind of liked uh, that shot between the patrons. 
Again, very, very soft in the background. Nice, uh, nice images. Uh, here's another one. Actually, this one, there's a lot of red in it. Very interesting. I feel like the background is a little more bold. Uh, I like the composition compared to uh, some of these others where there's a lot of white in the background because the tent and I was uh, really trying to shoot to capture the subject in proper exposure, not worry about the background so much. But here there's a lot of color. It's really, really rich and the color uh, rendering is fabulous with this lens. So uh, here the beautiful uh, dress and the lady um, uh, and really like the ornateness of her glasses. Uh, zoom in there and we'll see some details. Um, really did well. The guy picked up a custom made guitar and was testing it out. And um, again, this one I could have darkened the exposure, but I just want the subject to pop. Wasn't worried about the uh, exposure. I have the raw files, I can adjust that if I want. But just JPEG straight out of camera. This is fantastic. Fantastic. A uh, lady putting on uh, a lipstick, uh, kind of reapplying that. She was a jeweler vendor in her booth. She's reapplying her lipstick. Kind of thought that was a nice street moment. Um, so I really like this, how she was kind of sniffing uh, there was some sort of perfume or cosmetics or lotion and um, really like the soft, warm beiges in that photo. Um, here's some ceramic wear. I just thought it was a nice kind of horizontal shot. Uh, again, very soft background and fall off. I think this one's f4 if I'm not mistaken. I wasn't always shooting at uh, 1.2. I'll put the aperture up there so you can kind of tell. Some spices. My wife bought a couple spices and so I took some pictures while we were in that booth. Uh, then I did a series of this guy here. It was hot, so he doesn't look the happiest, but he was really helping people and doing a lot of business. Um, so he was out there and I thought these came out. This is actually my favorite photo, one of my favorite from the day, and um, you don't even have his eyes, so you don't have that like typical human uh, connection right there, but I love the Lakers hat in black and his Old Town Baking Company in black, and then just the Old Town Baking sign, very faded. Uh, um, it'd be kind of a good, good picture for his website. Maybe I'll track him down and send it, send him that. Again, fruits and vegetables galore at the farmer's market. Um, so here's more of a street style and I'll zoom in here. You can see it's very crisp around the face. Um, and I like the hands grabbing the melons and putting them on the scale in front. Um, kind of a good lifestyle photo, I would say. Uh, I did a couple of still eyes. These melons caught my attention with the, the way the light fell on them and the texture and same with these. Um, so then I went back, we were buying something from her and I zoomed in or I got closer, a closer photo of her. I kept trying to get her eyes, but she would, kept looking down at what she was doing. Um, so it had been a better photo if I got her eyes. The one that I did catch wasn't quite in focus, which is foreshadowing one of the problems I had with this lens. Um, so that we bought some flowers from this gentleman here, this vendor, we bought some flowers from him before and I think we're next in line. So I was just getting photos of him as he wrapped those up. Some people in the street, just kind of wide uh, panorama, not panorama, but wide horizontal view of the street. Um, it's nice, great. I mean, I love the Fujifilm colors and these are all good. Now, this is an interesting shot, not a portrait. And I think it was more like F4, but I just love this vast kind of array of a field of flowers sticking out of this bucket shot straight down. Um, so very, very, very cool image. I did two of those. And um, here's the gentleman startling us the flowers. And um, now as we turn to leave the booth, there were a couple of photos this morning where I, I caught a vision in my head, in my eye, in my mind. And I asked the person, hey, can I grab your photo? And this lady, this is almost the picture I wanted, but she had the flowers kind of out a little bit further. You can see here, they're reflecting a lot of yellow on her face, but she had them out a little bit further. It was clear she was waiting. Um, but it was just such a beautiful scene with the two uh, blossoms. And then I asked her like, hey, can we pose that? And then I couldn't recreate it. And I didn't want to take up too him of much of her time. Luckily, her and my wife had talked in line and they were kind of friends already at that point. Uh, so I got a couple other pictures of her. That was actually kind of a nice photo as well, even though it's more posed and less candid. Some mushrooms. Uh, this gentleman, I, I told him I was uh, making a YouTube video and he said, oh, that's cool. He was asking about the camera. And, uh, I asked if I could take a photo of him and what I think is his dad. I don't really know. They, he seemed happy. Uh, he actually gave my wife some free cilantro because I took a picture of him. So I got his Instagram. I'm going to send that to him later. And this is one of my favorite shots. The line of light highlighting the, the dark berries. I don't know if they're raspberries. And then um, just surround it in the, um, in the sea of strawberries. 
and just the brilliant color. I could have shot at Velvia, that would have been smart, maybe to switch the film simulation real quick. I might do that with the raw for comparison, but I really like this classic Neg uh, recipe. Now we're getting uh, some, I think it's called elephant garlic. Um, now we're getting to the end of our time at the Claremont Farmer's Market. I was going to show you one of the photos that uh, I thought of ahead of time and asked permission for. So uh, this lady was with her friend. She walked past me and there's kind of this canopy of trees above her. And I saw, I don't know if I saw it reflected in her glasses, but it just kind of flashed like it'd be cool taking an upward portrait um, of her against this canopy of trees. So I asked her if I, she wouldn't uh, mind. She said no. So we kind of recreated it here. Now, the first time I shot this, I shot two. It's eye autofocus and they came out not locked in. They were blurry. And I knew from my experience that morning, I knew that I had to punch in and look. And sure enough, it was not blur. It was not, um, I was doing the half press on the trigger to you know see the green box around her eye. I saw that there. We can take a look in those photos. In the back of the camera, it'll say detected face and it'll tell you if there's a face there or not. And it says there's a detected face and it was blurry. That's why I would say this lens is actually problematic. Um, I wouldn't expect this for a thousand dollars to be uh, having focus issues. Now I have to do my due diligence, make sure if there's any firmware um, needs on the camera, on, on the lens that I do that. But right now, this is a lens that I'm going to sell. I guarantee you, I don't need that in my life. Uh, I stopped at poor lady and then I had to stop and take the picture twice. That's, that's not good. That is uh, embarrassing. Uh, but I loved how these photos came out. And so I got her Instagram. I'm going to send these to her. And then I said, Oh, do you want a picture with your friend? And then turns out her friend's a photographer, uh, shoots Fuji. I think the X 100 F and one other camera, but um, I love how these turned out. These are probably my favorite photos of the day. I just love the palette and my, this is my film recipe. And I'm like, wow, that looks really good. I think I'm learning to shoot it a little, you know, plus one third, like a little overexposed. And I think it looks better that way. Um, great photos. I, I would say that I love how these photos took, came out, but we were sitting in a taco place waiting to go to the farmer's market. And I was shooting through the window at people as they passed by. And I shot probably 20 or 30 photos from 10 feet away. Yeah, there is a pane of glass between, but it was consistently missing. I say I, would, I locked on 10% of those shots and these people weren't running past me, they're strolling past. Um, so I think there's focus issues and I would not expect focus issues on a lens this uh, expensive, this premium. All right, so I will say I still have to do the Viltrox 56 millimeter test. And uh, right now I love the images, but I can't stand the focus performance. It's not, uh, not what I'm looking for. Actually, I shot some video and I felt like it performed better on video, which is, which is odd to me. Um, Cause I don't think this is what Fuji created this lens in mind. Uh, I think it, it was a photo first lens, not a, not a video lens. Anyhow, uh, that's it. Hit subscribe if you like this content, if it's helpful. Uh, leave a comment below and let me know what else I should do. I'm gonna test it against the 56 millimeter Viltrox and then we're gonna get um, a decision. And right now I would say, probably gonna sell it. Probably gonna sell it. Probably not gonna keep it. Probably gonna ditch it. It's probably going bye-bye. It's probably going bye-bye. Bye bye. Probably going bye bye. Bam! If you're new here, I'm Wes and I do uh, Fuji and I used to do Canon uh, photo uh, photography and videos. If you're new here, I do videos about Canon and Fuji. If you're new here, I do photo.